was a lot of inspiration that went into Call of Duty Black Ops multiplayer. Now, traditionally on Call of Duty, you get new weapons, new perks, new maps, you get all that stuff, and we needed to do that, we needed to do that exceptionally well, and I actually think we've done that this year. But the team knew the stakes were very, very high this year. For us to deliver, we kind of need to go outside of the box. So we focused on three pillars, compete, customize, and create. So on the compete side, we've added this combat training mode, which gives new players the opportunity to basically get their feet wet in multiplayer, but also add a very cool, new, and compelling game mode that allows you to basically play co-op with your friends. The other thing we did was add Wager Match, which basically takes this idea of a Call of Duty currency that we've introduced and allows you to put it on the line to earn more currency or, unfortunately, lose it. It's a very fun game mode. I think for my guys that play it and me, it's probably the biggest adrenaline rush that you actually get, and it's a lot of fun. So that's the compete side. On the create, uh, we've added this cool new theater mode. And the way the theater mode works is that you can go into your basically all your recent games and you can play any game back as a video that you actually play. Now the cool part is it's got full DVR controls and camera controls. So I load up the match, I can go in third person, first person, break the camera, follow my guy around, and I can follow any other player around. So let's say I'm playing with someone who's really good. I'm like, wow, how does he do all this stuff? What's his loadout? I can just break the camera and follow him around and see how he plays. There's also another cool component to theater as well. On Call of Duty this year, we've introduced this idea of a player card. So normally when I go into the game, I can go look at your name and say, okay, here's this guy, he's level you know, 54, and that's what he does. Now think of it as your Call of Duty baseball card. What you can do is you have six slots that you can put all of your different theater modes that you've made and put them on your player card. So let's say you had an awesome kill streak or you made a cool video that you matched up with the theater editor. You can then put that on your player cards for when anybody goes to say, hey, who's that guy? Oh, wow, this guy's awesome. He's gotten all these cool kill streaks. Or he had this awesome, really funny tomahawk throw. And it really gives, again, players identity of what they are doing with the game. The last one is customization, and this one's really cool. This is something where everybody's like, I want Call of Duty to be my own Call of Duty. In the previous Call of Duties, we had this idea of you unlock emblems and you unlock call signs to do it. Now we're giving you the ability to make your own. We've seen some pretty creative people come up with some pretty creative and, and very interesting artwork to make their emblems. But it's something where I literally was like, okay, I'm gonna play around with an emblem, and then I was playing around, I was trying different things, and you literally can get lost in it, because there's so many options to flip and change color and scale and do all that kind of stuff. So really what we felt was we want to offer a lot of new different content, still make a great multiplayer game, but give people ways to experience Call of Duty like they never have before. Combat training was actually something, as they mentioned, was a development tool that actually to see how multiplayer worked, how the enemies, how things were behaving within the world. Now the way that it works is that there's different levels within combat training. So a beginner level, the AI is going to move a little bit slower, give you a basic idea of like, okay, this is how my guns work, I want to get familiarity with the map, I, want to, I don't know what a Willy Pete is or what a flashbang is, and you can just try those out. So it's really this idea of creating this environment where it's safe for you to play and get your bearings. Now as you actually level up, or actually change the, the difficulty level in, in combat training, it's actually a great warm up, at least for me. Before I go online, I always take about one or two matches to kind of get my bearings and everything ready. And that's one of the things that combat training can do. Now the other cool thing about combat training, it's a really a co-op mode. So you and I could be over at my house, we could play combat training together. Uh, if you're over at your place, we have a bunch of other friends together, we can jump on and literally play combat training. We could be like, you, you could be with you and two other bots, and I could be with my buddy and three other bots. And you can basically create matches and try them out with you know, a lot of bots against a very small team, so there's a lot of variability that you can do. And I actually think that this mode will be a great sort of taster for people that are sometimes intimidated by Call of Duty multiplayer, and they can have their own multiplayer experience that way. My favorite kill streak. Well, there's different ones for different reasons. I love the gunship, that's a player controlled helicopter, something new for Call of Duty. Napalm is awesome because it looks just incredible. And then the RCXD, which is the remote control vehicle, is a lot of fun because literally it's fun chasing people down in the map. So there's a little bit for everybody. What is going to shake the foundation of multiplayer? I think when people get their hands on wager match mode, see what it is, uh, you know, we've added these four new game modes within wager match. We actually think people are going to go, wow, this is, it, it's so basic, but it's so much fun. And that's one of the things that me and my team play all the time. Call of Duty Black Ops comes out on November 9th, and it's going to be on the 360, PS3, and PC, and also the Wii.